Hi everyone, Bobby Laporte here again with my weekly leadership tip for your best next move, where I help you see continuing curveballs as an opportunity. This year, my goal is to help you actively use your personal agency to accelerate what you want to accomplish in 2022. So if there's a practice that always seems to be challenging for most leaders, it's holding one-on-one -on -one meetings with your staff members. And even as I'm mentioning this now, I'm guessing that your reaction probably falls into one of two buckets. One, you really enjoy your one-on-one -on -one sessions with your team members and you look forward to them. Or two, you just never seem to have enough time and you often end up canceling them. Look, there's no question that having productive, consistently, I'm sorry, productive one-on-ones can be tough. And I'm not judging you either way you look at them, but they are important. So let's just take a minute to review why. First of all, everyone, everyone wants to feel connected. They want to feel a sense of belonging to their work, to their team, to their manager. It's just basic human nature. And in our current workplace environment, this is true now more than ever. Second, feedback is the cornerstone of a good employee manager relationship. We all know that and it builds trust. Studies show that more than 50% of workers said that their relationship with their manager had deteriorated during the pandemic. Trust had eroded. So regular one on one contact can go a long way to rebuilding and repairing damaged relationships. And lastly, we all know the need to focus on employee retention in this crazy hiring market. Again, studies show that providing regular feedback can increase employee engagement by up to 15%. So it could be time for you to have a mindset mindset shift in how you think about one on ones. Because every time you cancel or postpone a one on one or you show up frazzled distracted or you need to cut the meeting short. You are devaluing the time spent with your team member. And you're sending them the message that their time isn't worth as much as yours. So here's my tip <clears throat> actually two tips number one. Just make the commitment to hold regular one on ones with your team members. They don't have to be weekly. Many of the leaders I'm now working with have moved to bi weekly team meetings. Or, I'm sorry, bi weekly one on ones. Just let your team know what your plan is and stick to it. And the second part of the tip is save the status updates for email. So use these one on ones to ask your team member how things are going. Are they having any challenges with what they're working on? Is there anything that they would like to work on where they could use their skills and talents that they're not? And how are they and their family doing personally? The bottom line here is to have consistent, non-distracted, generative conversations. So that's my tip for this week. If you'd like to learn more about conducting successful one-on-one -on -one meetings, check out the resources page on my website for my top 10 tips for better one-on-one -on -one meetings. And for more help on using your personal agency to make uncertainty a part of your success strategy in 2022, check out my new book, When the Curveballs Keep Coming, a leadership playbook for an uncertain world, and also my new online course, Leading Through Uncertainty. All right, everyone, have a great week, a productive week, and I'll see you actually next Tuesday. It's the Memorial Day weekend. All right, take care.